praise God. The Bible says that in the later times, I will pour out my spirit. Yeah, so God somehow reserves the best for the last time. There is a religious person here who thinks that um and Akatu could convince your tobacco. In fact, you are the one I'm speaking to. Yeah, you are the one I'm speaking to. Praise the Lord. There is the level of worship as an individual that you have reached. And there is the level of worship that you need to attain. And you only attain that next level when you learn how to tarry in the presence of God. When we started, I, I told you that tonight you've not come to be psyched up or to be fired up so that we can worship. You don't wait for the worship leader to come and shout, lift your hands, do this, do this. In heaven, it is spontaneous. I was sharing with the worship team and I was telling them that the elders and the angels, the 24 elders, for how many years have they been seated around the throne of God? Since the beginning of time. But the Bible says that each time there's this new thing they see about God. That they don't need a worship leader to tell them, now lay down your crowns, now worship, now God is very holy. Something you need to know this about worship. I'm not, I'm not preaching now, but uh, we came up with a program, but now this is his program. Now, when the devil was thrown down from heaven, he was the praise and worship leader. You know that. He led worship until Akafika Pali Akona. Now, God, we, we, we need to negotiate here. This is too good for you. We need to share something here. But now, because God does not share glory, if you decide to take it, he leaves it all for you. But in this case, he decided to throw him down. And uh, since that time, there is no angel who has been now placed in charge of worship. Since Lucifer was cast down from heaven, there was no angel who replaced him. Lucifer. But now God brought that to men. He now gave you the privilege to worship him. The, he did not give the ministry. He could not, the Bible says, he could not even trust the angels. But he has entrusted you in your weakness, a mortal man. I usually, one day I was telling my, my, my worship team that, what lesson do you learn when you go to the toilet? When you are seated on that thing, what lesson do you learn? Let me tell you what, one lesson that I usually learn is that I'm a mortal man. I eat, I remove. Even Jesus preached about it. Akauliza, do you not know that you take in through the mouth and it goes out? Even Jesus knew it. It simply tells you that you are a mortal man. That's why Paul says, I put no confidence in the flesh. Praise the Lord. So God has entrusted the ministry of praise and worship to mortal men. Praise the Lord. So you are the worshiper that God seeks. He's not waiting for the angels to worship him. The angels do not need a revelation to worship God. They don't need to pray and fast so that they can get a very big revelation of a song to worship God. For them, they see him face to face. They see the Lord's face one on one. So they don't worship him out of revelation. But what about you? You need first to come pace, wombe, your windows, that's how we talk outer courts, higher wing, yeah. inner courts, the window most, the, the holy of holies. You need to worship out of revelation. That's why God really treasures the worship that man brings to him. Because man has never seen God. But the angels see God. So when man uh, takes the time and takes the effort to seek God and to access his presence. God honors that. Because you have never seen him, but you worship him. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so you are the worshiper the Lord seeks today. It is you he's looking for, not anybody else. Praise the Lord. May God help you to raise your standard of worship as an individual. 
When you started, I told you that the worshipers who are here prepare. They pray. They seek God as we lead your people. May your presence come. May you give us favor as we lead your people. But what about the worshipers who come, now the congregation? Somebody just wakes up out of his room. Just comes into the presence. Ah, You know, that person is singing off key. But you never prepared to come and worship. That's why you'll come into a service. Uh, you, you see your neighbor really pushing deep in worship. And you're just wondering, what is wrong with this guy? What is this guy having that I don't have? What makes this guy connect and, and, and you know, leaves me disconnected? A member of our team was sharing with us that the presence of God is usually there everywhere. To the deepest oceans, to the highest mountains, everywhere the presence of God is there. But what makes the difference when we come to the presence of God? One person gets it, another person misses out. But tonight, we are not of those who miss out. We are those who access. So, as we get into the next session of praise and worship, I want you to ask God to give you a deeper revelation. There's this song which says, the more I know you, the more I want to know you. The more I know you, the more I worship you. The deeper the revelation you have of God, the deeper your worship shall be. So as we get into the second session, let it get out of your mind that, oh, we've done it, we have, we have, we have achieved. It's only those who hunger and thirst who are filled. If God sees you that you are satisfied, then he says, okay, you, you've got enough. Let me seek for those who are hungry. And because his treasures are not, you know, they never run dry. He will still have supply for all those who hunger. But the problem comes in when we say we've got enough. We've already had it. But Don Muen sang a song and says, I believe there is more. I believe there is more. I stretch out my hands to receive all that you have in store. Praise the Lord. Yeah, you can never exhaust the, the treasures that God has over your life. Praise the Lord. So I ask the worship team to come on stage as I conclude this. The worship team, let's come on stage. Tell your neighbor to arise. Tell your feet to help you to arise as we worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give a shout of praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Say righteousness. Peace. Peace. Joy. Joy. In the Holy Ghost. How many of you remember that song? We want to worship the Lord with that song. And I want you, I want you to sing this song with an understanding. There is so much, the presence of the Lord is so much here. So as you worship, don't just sing that song because you want to enjoy it. Sing it because you understand that there is righteousness, there is peace, there is joy, there is love in the kingdom of God. What's Amen. What's Amen. Give a shout of praise to the Lord.
Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on, everybody. There is peace to the kingdom. So much peace to the kingdom. There is peace to the kingdom. Come on, come on, everybody. There is joy in the kingdom. So much joy in the kingdom. There is joy in the kingdom. Come on, come on, everybody. There is love in the kingdom. So much love in the kingdom. There is love in the kingdom. Come on, come on, everybody. Sing righteousness, righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Oh, righteousness, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. What's more, righteousness.
prepared tonight. Lift your hands unto the Lord and just declare that He is Almighty tonight. He is worthy of praise, He is worthy of glory, He is worthy of honor.
Jesus, I run after you till I see your power and glory reveal my soul. My soul is God. Train us to sing this song to the Lord. And my spirit is hungry.
Come and lift your hands and tell me, we need more. We need more. Jesus, we pray, give us more. Give us more. Until we see your power. Oh. see your power and glory. One more time, one more time, one more time. The atmosphere that has, is, is setting in is the atmosphere of happenings. If you are close to somebody sleeping, it is their time now. It is their time now. You have given the best. You have given what you could have given to the master. He says, it is now my turn now. I don't know whether you are ready for this. Don't know whether you are ready for this. Don't know whether you are ready for this. I don't know whether you are ready for this.
to play some intense music. Just play intense music. You sustain yourself in the presence. It is the time of God. It is His time. Hey! Hey!
shuttles can elevate. Listen to the next level. The Lord told me prophesy ah. on this mountain. Ah. On this mountain, ah. I am destroying. Oh. I am destroying yes. ah. the covering ah. that was about I was upon people. Oh. On this mountain, ah. no. I am destroying the veil ah. that no. covered no. nations. Ah. No. The Lord told me, no. my son prophesy. No. The Lord says ah. no. on this mountain. No. Ah. I am destroyed every covering upon my people. The Lord says on this mountain, I am destroyed every veil yes. that covers the yes. nation. The mouth oh, yes. of the Lord yes. has spoken. Yes. The mouth of the Lord oh, yes. has spoken. Yes. Listen to me. Remove all of our veil means a new assurance. Removal of a covering means a new assurance. This morning, under this prophetic anointing, I assure you, Ribros Cantalala, Shentelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
we are going to lift a praise to God. And, uh, all the alumni of the praise and worship team. You know, what you see, what you see happening in front here is, a, is as a result of the seed that these people sowed in the years that they were here. Praise the Lord. It did not start from here. It started from them. They laid the foundation. After the soon-to-be alumni is through, we'll now continue with praises with the old alumni. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, so for the next 30 minutes, do not leave. I want you to praise the Lord. After that, you are going to have a moment of sharing together. Praise the Lord. You know, the, the moment of sharing, refreshments, it's also fellowship. After we've had this, that part is also fellowship. That's why the, the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's worship. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ broke the bread and he gave it to the disciples. It was fellowship. So whether you eat or whether you sing or whether you worship, it's fellowship. So don't miss the other part. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So what's failed me? Hallelujah. We give you praise, oh God. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. You are the Lord of Lords. There is no one else like you. Ambia mwenzako yeye ni Mungu wa miungu. Hakuna mfano wake. Alikuwa yupo na atakuwa hapo milele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give me some time. Give me some time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Alikuepo, yupo. Hallelujah. We want to praise the name of God with this song. This is a Swahili song which says, Hallelujah. Put your hands together as we praise the King of Kings. For there is no one else like Him. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Lord. Let's go. 
saint is born again but tonight i know they also rejoice because we have joined them in praising the king of kings praise the lord and actually this is the place to be we are from jayquat yeah we are part of the christian union in jayquat and we saw it well to be here with you we are a number of us amongst us. So be blessed and God bless you. Do you have any other um, campus to present? Okay, I'm Kibe Delphin from the University of Nairobi. Yeah, amen. Amen. Uh, my name is Linda and this is Cleo. We are from USIU. Oh. We're happy to be here. Uh, United States. Buana uh, Sifiri. I'm happy to be here. Uh, it's good to see you all. Uh, I represent Mo University. Uh, Amen. Praise yeah. God. I'm Jacinta from Strathmore. Oh. Amen. Any other that you are forgetting? Um, I'm Amos. I'm from Premis College. And, uh, I'm so happy to be here. I was invited by the the. Okay, whoever invited you. But finally, you are in the I presence of God. I was invited by one of your praise and worship leader, Sister Lydia. Oh. And okay, okay, yeah. We fellowship together in the same church. Uh, she is so powerful, and I'm. Manze, lime fraya sana kuwa hapa. Sawa sawa. Lime fraya sana kuwa hapa. 
those that talk are unique nikitoka kole nafanya sat manzi jo na kam na thank you very much god bless you amen come with me please there's a lot uh we are quite a number from keyuru to campus god bless you so much oh keyu ruru campus yeah i'm gilbert sang kimutai kimani uh pan african christian university uh i was invited by mano biawe who is your chairman here why don't you clap for him in jesus <laughs> And I want to say something then I sit down. These things do not belong to the people who are filled. These things belong to the people who are thirsty for God. For unless you are thirsty for God, you can never worship him. So be thirsty for God so that you may worship him. God bless you. Um, my name is Edward. I was brought here by Avi. He used to be my friend in high school, so I'm not at uni anymore. So <laughs> he just brought me so I've been blessed. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm Fanny Sajore. I was invited here by Avi, though I graduated from Kampala International University. Yes. This is an international worship night. Yeah. And then there is one more guest we have not appreciated. Who can guess? Ah? Huh? Not KM. You know, there was one person who made all the difference tonight. God, we haven't appreciated. I want wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. We are going to stand and we are going to appreciate the chief guest who was with us tonight. Who made the night what it was tonight. And as we stand, I'll welcome our dad, the chairman, the bishop, the archbishop of the Christian Union to come and close the meeting for us. So we are going to count one to three. And you are going to appreciate the King of Kings for honoring us with his presence, for visiting us today, and giving us a taste of greater things which are to come. One, two, three. Amen. We give you praise. We worship you, Lord. Have we really praised the Lord? Somebody you can prepare your voice very well. Hallelujah. It is so great to be in such a presence. It is so great to spend such a night just worshiping the Lord in the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And therefore we cannot afford just to give that short praise to the King of Kings. Somebody prepare your voice. Push your neighbor, push your neighbor, push your neighbor. Hallelujah. One One, two, three, amen. Woo! 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord had something for each one and every of us in such a particular day that we could start the previous day and finish it today. And this is the way heavens are. One day when we shall be there we shall be praising. People will not be getting tired. And maybe this has been prepared for you in heaven. And there's only one key to heaven. Jesus says that is the way is the truth and the life. Today we are here worshiping the Lord together. We have been here praising the Lord today we're together. But maybe there's one thing that will make you not to receive this one for the rest of your life. 
There's the eternal life where we shall be having this one non-stop each and every day, each and every time. You are here and you're not born again. This is your opportunity. The Lord is giving you a new opportunity. If you can consider your life and you say that I will not like to miss this one for the rest of my life. I would love to always enjoy this one. That is the only chance that you can make in your life and you say that actually I'm, a make, I'm making a step ahead that I will never regret in my life forever. Maybe you've just come for a moment in KUCU today, but there's something greater than this even for your life tomorrow. You are there and you're saying, I need the Lord Jesus in my life today. I just want to change my life. You are there, you're not born again, but you're saying, I want to give my life to Jesus so that I may have this joy. Please let this chance not pass you. This is your time. Just raise up your hand wherever you are. We are going to pray together. You are there, you're not born again, but you're saying that I would like to rejoice in this chance. I would like to rejoice in this one for the rest of my life. I want to change my life with Jesus. I want to start a new life that I will never regret in my life. You are there, just raise up your hand. Do not fear anything. Do not be intimidated by the people who are next to you. Do not feel like there's something that will be barring you. This is the only chance in your life. Let me see somebody. Let me see somebody. Let me see somebody. You are there, you're not born again. Hallelujah. I want to believe that all of us are born again. Amen. Let us bow our heads down so that we may pray. Everybody bow your head down so that we may pray and all eyes closed. Daddy, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify you. You're worthy and you're awesome. You're marvelous, O oh God. You reign in us. And it is you that we give praise, O oh King of glory. Since yesterday until today, we have seen your glory. We have seen your hand. You have been upon us, O oh my Father, my Lord. You've been our guide. You have been our direction, O oh God Almighty, all this time long, O oh God. If it were not for your breath, O oh my Father, my Lord Almighty, at this particular time, we would have not been alive to say that you're the King of Kings. But we want to say thank you for the life that you've granted us. Thank you for the strength that you've given us. Thank you for each and everything that has taken place in this place, O oh God. Thank you for the praise and the worship. Thank you, my Lord Almighty, for all the people who are involved in the organization of such a function, O oh Daddy. We say thank you, my Redeemer, because it is by your grace, it is by your power, it is by your love, O oh my Father, my Lord, that this has come to pass, O oh King of glory. Thank you, my Redeemer, for each and every of us, my Father, for we believe that you have been revived in our hearts. The King of glory, the spirit of worship, O oh my Father, has been renewed in us, that we shall always long to be in your presence each and every time, each and every moment, to glorify you, to uplift you, to say that you are the King of kings, the mighty Ebenezer. We say thank you, O oh God, my Redeemer, my Master. We pray, my Father, my Lord Almighty, that let you sustain us in this fire. That King of glory, it may not burn, it may not fade away, my Father, my Lord, from us. But King of glory, my Redeemer, each and every time, we may long and we may desire to worship you, O oh God. Thank you, my Redeemer, my Lord, for each and every person who came to this place, O oh Daddy. Thank you, my Lord Almighty, because I know that their lives shall not, be, shall not remain the same. Because there's something that you planted in us. There's a seed that you planted in us, O oh King of glory, that shall never die, but it shall grow, O oh King of glory. Because there's something that you're bringing, oh my Father, my Lord, in us. Thank you for the new levels that you're taking us unto, O oh God. Thank you, my Lord Almighty, to the new grace, oh my Father, my Lord, that you're planting in us, O oh King of glory, for the glory and the honor of your name. Thank you, Jesus, for each and every part of our lives, O oh God. Each and every aspect of my Father, my Lord, of all lives. May you bless us. May you anoint us, O oh God. King of glory, to them that are not born again, we continue to pray, my Father, my Lord Almighty, that you may convict them, O oh King of glory, of this great salvation, O oh King Jesus, that we may not lack the great promise and the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. We thank you, we worship you. In Jesus' holy name we pray and believe. Amen. Somebody say amen and clap to the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. One last few. I'd forgot to appreciate as you take your seats and as the people dealing with the refreshments, we can begin coming in. Uh, uh, if you are king, if I do this, you'll not listen to me. You'll not hear me. Buenas fue. There are guys who did all this work of setting up the sound system. Took them almost two hours to do this. Kahawa DC, Kahawa Deliverance Church. Let us appreciate them for their sound system. Yeah, that was very great. 
We did not pay a single shilling for all the sound you see here. Not a single shilling. Yeah. Um, the stage was beautiful today. And uh, it is for a reason. We have special lighting on stage. Let's appreciate. appreciate. Yes. 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 I can see Mark Amimo trying to, and yet he's done with that problem. He's my close friend, that's why I also have that problem. So it's a problem shared, half solved. So we have this special lighting here, and we appreciate some Africa for the lighting for the stage. Let's appreciate them for that. Some Africa provided the sound system for us during our worship experience last year, and they are still partnering with us, and we give thanks to God for them. So that was the worship night, and it's just the beginning of your journey of worship. It's not the end. It's just the beginning of worship. Yeah, worship is a lifestyle. It's a continuous process which the Lord is seeking the true worshipers. May he find you worthy of a true worshiper. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you.